So, uh, is there is there an yeah. end to all this? Is that is it yeah. like you know, is it all about choices of who we vote for at the end of the day? What exactly is yeah is going on? Is it okay? I like that question because I think the essence of this conversation, you know, is to find a solution to the problem. And I would like to refer you to one of the greatest philosophers after Sun Tzu. His name is yeah. Von Clausewitz. What he simply did, his own state has this kind of problem. You see what we are discussing, corruption, drug dealers, drug, all these people, you see, some of them are into so many dirty things, okay? So he has the same problem, and he was a military guy. And he came up with a theory. He said, he, he simply micromised a society. He said that a society is classified into the government, the security. In other words, during his time, he mentioned the military. So the government, the military, and the people. These three triangle, I mean, these three people, they make up of a society. There's nobody in government, whether uh, bats or whoever they are, that did not evolve from the people. They were once a poor people, just like some of us, they, before they became president or governor or senator. Mm -hmm. They evolved from the mm -hmm. people, okay? So Clausewitz will say that the military also evolved from the people. I went to the military in 1982. I was a local boy in Ilaro State somewhere. I was. I went to normal primary school and so on. I, I emerged from the people and I, I became a military officer and I grew to be a one star. So a society is made, made up of those three, the government, the people, and the military. But he said, he gave a warning that the people is paramount. The people has the power. When you talk about sovereignty, the power belongs to the people because they are the one that sent their representative to the army, to the government house, yeah. to the senate. Mm -hmm. So whatever those people, they, those people are their servants. They are there to work for them. They surrender their sovereignty to them. But you know what Nigerian politicians have done? Once they get there, when they are sent out, you vote for them, you sent out. They now weaponize poverty. Mm -hmm. Because when you are so poor and wretched and you cannot feed, you won't have strength to talk the way I'm talking. So yeah. the challenge, if I say the challenge, you will not believe me. The challenge is actually the people. The people had the problems. All those people that carry mm. talks, uh, carry ballot box, uh, all those ones that complain for people when they are doing an election, those people that mm -hmm. change the paper at, um, where, what do you call this, INEC. All those, people work, all those people working in INEC, are they not people? Are they military? Are they in government? They are not. Mm -hmm. If you are working in INEC, you are just, mm. you are just somebody's father, somebody's mother. You know, if I use copper and they say you should go and man one uh, polling unit, you are somebody's sister and brother, and you are there also collecting money. So the people mm. had the problem. They forgot that they have the power to remove these people, to kick them out, just like the French Revolution. People took yeah. power to their hands, went to Versailles. I, I, I was in Paris, so I used to visit the place, and beheaded the, the king. Carry his wife, mm. took him to Trocadero, put him, put out that guillotine and beheaded her. And the, and the French system mm. changed. So what gives these mm. people power over you? And that's why sometimes when I talk on the air, you think I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed. No, I'm just upset that why do, why should a governor think he has a power over me? I'm, mm. I'm respecting the office of the governor. And if yeah, the, the individual in that office is a criminal, I have no respect for him. And that's why people think I'm arrogant. Mm. I don't have respect for you. 
you are just a human being like me. You just you came from a village somewhere and somehow you got into a position of power and you became a nuisance to the society. So the solution is for people to take power to their hands and kick out all this some of these criminals that you have in government. The the problem in this country are the people. It's not this government. Yeah. But they evolve from the people, the military yeah. that keep people inside shooting people. Are they not from the people? The, 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 the military yeah. guy that commanded that, that, I know the guy. He has a mother, he has a father, he has brothers. He's, he, he emerged from the people. So people should take mm -hmm. their sovereignty back from these rascals and get mm -hmm. second time their independence. 